Hi, this is Patrick from STH. Today we're going to answer one of the questions that we've been getting a lot this week, which is whether or not you can use one of the M2 Intel Optane memory drives as a ZFS cache or log device. We purchased one of the drives, a 16 gig drive on Amazon. We installed it into a Supermicro Xeon D server. And now we are using a Proxbox VE 5.0. Uh, which is based on Debian Stretch. And you can see that we can actually look at the NVMe drives using our standard NVMe commands. Practically, this means that we can monitor the drives just like other NVMe drives using standard tools. Next, what we did was we built a ZFS pool. We added two 8 terabyte Western Digital drives, and then we did a series of adding the Optane drive, which is NVMe 0 and 1, as both a cache drive and then as a log device. And so you can see in this series of commands how we start with two drives. We add the cache drive, remove the cache drive, add the log device, remove the log device. The bottom line here is that there's nothing special that we did. This is just an ordinary NVMe device. Intel clearly does not condone this. They specifically state that the Intel Optane memory drives are for 7th generation core processors. You can see their Optane memory product information requirements only have the 7th generation. What really this means is that this is for the client caching feature that the Intel folks have. As you can see, we have this running on just standard server hardware. In this case, it's actually an older 8-core 16-thread Xeon D. We don't recommend this for a production ZFS server. However, if you just want to test ZFS with Optane, this can be an option for under 50 bucks. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more cool videos.